Welcome back to Home Studio Winter 2024, our Flask MySQL Python Anywhere series, and the second video where we'll be working with PHP MyAdmin to actually create our new database, our new SpongeBob database, and we'll be doing that starting now, picking up where we left off last video. So let's go to insert and let's insert some characters in here. We don't have to do a whole lot, five or six, seven, whatever. Uh, just so we have some different things here, maybe we have different species, maybe same color, so that if you could say all that are the same color, because if they're all different, it's hard to really filter through it. We could put ages so we could do less than or greater than or anything like that. And let's add some rows to our database. So we'll go to insert. Now, it initially does two at a time. And you could do more, whatever. We'll do two at a time here. So I'll go here and do nothing for ID. Don't have to put anything there because it's going to auto increment. So you don't have to put anything here. Now, first name. Now, we don't have to do any of this function stuff. So you could skip that. We're just putting the value over here. So again, it's kind of like the MongoDB, if you think about it, the key value thing, except it's going to set it up in a table. And all we're doing is just filling in blanks. Now, we could do this with code to make it easier because after a while, this won't be a lot of fun. But for now, it's easy. So I'm just going to do SpongeBob. I'll start off with him. The main characters, I don't. I think it could be capital B in there, but just leave it lowercase, capital S. And his last name is SquarePants. Again, it may be a capital P, but let's just leave it like that. And he's a sponge. And he's yellow. And let's just say he's 27. I don't know how old he is. I know they have that somewhere on the web, but let's just say he's 27. So that's all we're filling in. Now let's go down here to Patrick. And again, no ID, it'll be auto incremented. Let's call him Patrick. And his last name is Star. And if you screw this up, you can go back and edit your database. That's what you'll hear the term CRUD. And CRUD is create, read, update, delete. You'll hear that term with databases. Sometimes I think that's revised, but it's not. It's create, read, update, and delete, and that's what you could do to databases. And that's what we're doing right now. So that's CRUD, and right now we're updating. Or actually, we're creating. I guess we're, we created our database, so we're updating, we're putting in rows. And then we can read after we're done. We could go and query what's in our database. But let's keep moving on here. He's a starfish, and he's pink. He could be coral. And let's say he's a little older than SpongeBob. He's 28. Okay, so let's go down here and hit go. We could go down to the bottom. You could go to each one. Amount of rows to insert, it says two. So we're going to insert two. We'll hit go. And this is what it did. It actually inserted into in there. And we could add more this way if we want. Or you could keep going through there and just going back to insert. But this is what it creates when it actually created. So this actually ran this query. So if you go back to your, your database now, if you browse, you know, they're in there. And if I go to SQL, uh, this is where we could run queries in here, but we're just going to keep inserting. So let's go to insert and we'll add two more. So let's add two more characters. So remember, no ID. We'll go here and we'll add the next popular character, which is Squidward. And he is tentacles. He is an octopus. So he is not a squid. Look it up. And he's gray. And he's maybe a little older. We'll say 33. Or he seems that way. <laughs> so we'll put 33. All right. And then we'll put uh, Mr. Krabs because he's another popular character. So his first name is Eugene. His last name is Krabs with a K. And his species is a crab. And his color is red. And his age is, let's say he's... 57. Make him older than me, because hopefully I'm not... <laughs> I just turned 56, so I don't want to think I'm as old as Mr. Krabs. So he's a little older than me. Uh, <laughs> so I'll hit go down here so that it does all of them. So there'll be two new ones in here. And that's the way it got inserted. Now, I, I just want to show you something here. You can copy this, like copy this stuff that just got created if you want to try this. And again, you, you can't really screw anything up, I don't think. Uh, so I'll copy this. I did Command-C or Control-C if you're on Windows. You could copy that. And I'm just going to go back to my database. And here's the four that are here. Now, if I want to add two more. Now, let's maybe add two women. We'll add maybe Pearl Crabs and maybe Sandy Cheeks. So I could go into SQL and paste what I just copied. Now, 
what I'm doing is I'm actually writing SQL code. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, instead of Squidward, I'm going to add two at a time here, and you could add more. I'm going to add, and then Cheeks, and she's a squirrel, and she's brown, and she's maybe 22. I'll say she's pretty young. And then we have another one, and I'm going to make that Pearl, and that's going to be crabs. And she's a whale, and she's, I'll say she's gray. And then I'd say she's like 17, because remember she had a prom, and she went to SpongeBob. Now, I can actually put more values in here. And notice between these parentheses, I'm going to copy this one, copy it, and just put it right here. And make sure there's a comma between the parentheses. And make sure there's no semicolon here, because semicolon goes at the very end. So there's Pearl, and let's add Squilliam. It's like William with Squee in the front. And then it's going to be Fancyson. He's not, he's not Squidward's brother. He's like a cousin or something, or some rival. Fancy son. And maybe he's 33 as well. Maybe he's same age as, as Squidward. And he's also gray. And he's also an octopus, I think. I don't know. Uh, but we'll put him in there. And maybe I'll copy one more. And I'll put Larry Lobster. And you can put anything you want. Larry Lobster. Now he's a lobster. And he's red. So now we have two red characters. And he's not 17. He's about 25. Let's say he's 25. All right. And I'm getting a little unexpected token near. So I have something. Oh, and look at that. If you see that, there's a problem. I didn't put a comma there. So i got to put a comma here. And that should go away. Now let's just look at this. Uh, it should be the first one, and then there should be values. In between the values, there should be a comma. Comma. Does it not like that? It doesn't like that at the end, even though I think that's okay. I, it originally had that, but for some reason, it doesn't like that at the end. Well, now it's okay. I think I had to get rid of it. Now, what I'm going to do is run this query. So I'm going to do go. So it's the same thing as if we just put them in using those fields. This is what we do when we, you finally learn to do, and sometimes it works easier like this because you could have a whole text file of you know, thousands of these, and you could go and, and put them in at one time instead of using fields. So eventually, you know, code does help other than using these kind of uh, you know, front-end kind of tools like phpMyAdmin, but it's good to get you started. Know a little bit about it. Then when you learn some SQL, then you could do it on your own if you have to work in a, in a terminal or you know, bash console or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to run this, and hopefully this should add these characters into my table. Let's hit go. Four rows were inserted and I'll go to browse and I should have everybody in there. So I have Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Eugene, Krabs, Sandy Cheeks, Pearl, Squilliam, Fancy, and Larry Lobster and it inserted one row and we have nine total. I'll go to browse and here it is. Now here's my database and it's SBRMH and what I'm going to do is download this database. Now I have it. So anyway, there's our database. Now if you wanted to export this database, I'll go over here and we can actually export the database if we want. I'm going right on the database that I created and I'm going to export it and you can export it and bring it to your computer. That way, you know, it's not going to stay on here forever. Someone could go delete it if they want. You could just go to your database and do drop, do SQL and do drop and do the database name and I'll show you how to do that if you want to drop it at the end if you have any problem. So I'll go here to export. I don't think you have to do much here. You don't have to put in template or anything like that. Uh, you could put custom just to see what's coming up here. It's going to generate for the characters table and I think it just makes an SQL file. I think that's all you have to worry about. And then we could bring that into Python anywhere. That's what we're going to do next. But you don't have to look at all this. We're just going to say export tables. So it's going to export all the tables. We only have one characters. It has new there but we don't have anything. And it's going to create SQL code to actually do this. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to do export. And it made sbrmh.sql. And then we're going to take that into Python anywhere. And if you don't have an account, you can make one. It's free. And I'll show you a couple things with that in the next video. But if you wanted to get rid of your database for whatever reason, now if you went here now and I didn't delete it, it'll still be here. You can mess with it or whatever, but I'd rather have you make your own. And then if you want to delete it at the end, so you know you don't want to have all these databases here, as long as you export it. Because if you export it, you actually have it. Uh, you could leave it here, but I just want to show you that if you wanted to delete it, and I, I don't necessarily have to delete it, but if you went to SQL and you just put drop database, 
database. I think it's drop database. And I'll backspace this and I'll hit that. And I'll put it back. I think it's drop database. Let's try that. So let's hit go. It's gone. It dropped the database. And if I ever wanted to put it back, I can actually use SQL to go in here and actually create it. It'll actually create a database. So if I went and got my file, my SQL file, now you may not have something to open this up. This will open up in VS Code. And if you don't have VS Code, I recommend downloading VS Code, which is a nice locally installed IDE, and it's kind of the one that most people use. I have an old version of VS Code here or something. But let me go here. Now, wherever this opens up, you can open it up in a text file. I'm going to copy all this, copy all my code. And I could come back here and create a new database with the same name, sb underscore rmh. And I hit create. And I go to SQL. Let's see if this will let me do this. And I don't know. Maybe it's having a hard time with this. Oh, no. There it is. There it is. It brought it back. So I had to make the database first, and it's in here. So that's my database. Again, if I want to drop it, I, at least I know I have it, but I have to create it in PHP my admin. So if I go back here again, or just I guess just go out to the server and go to SQL, and then to just do drop database SBRMH, and I'll put a semicolon, no error, and hit go gone. All right, what we're going to do next is go into Python Anywhere. This is Python Anywhere. You might have used it before. Just go to pythonanywhere.com, create a free account. You can create a free account. I have videos on it. And what we'll do in Python Anywhere is import our SQL file as a database and create a database that we can manage in Python Anywhere. So we'll be doing that in the next video. Thanks for watching.